In this video, let's briefly talk about thread safety. We actually have been talking about thread safety all along during the synchronization section. But I just want to mention this concept because you will see that in the documentation or in the blog, people are saying that this is thread safe, that is thread unsafe. You need to know by this point what they are talking about when they say something is thread safe. So in multi-threading computer programming, a function or a data struct or a class is thread safe when it can be used concurrently by multiple threads without causing risk conditions, unexpected behaviors, or data corruptions. So which means that within the function or the data struct or the class, a proper locking mechanisms have already been used. For example, we were using a regular queue in the producer and consumer example. When we use a regular queue, there's going to be a problem, which I mentioned, right? So because the queue itself is not thread safe, what it means is that when multiple threads are using this instantiated variable, data within the queue can be corrupted. The behavior or the end result can be unexpected. Right? It depends on which thread get to it first, which thread get it later. And therefore, you're going to see unexpected behavior. Sometimes it turn out to be wrong in, in, in one way. Sometimes it turn out to be wrong in a different way. It's really just because the class Q does not internally use any thread synchronization techniques like locks, uh, mutex, semaphore to make the shared resource within it thread safe. That's what we call thread safety. Next time when you see a documentation, it says something is thread safe, you know what it actually means. And just remember one thing, something is thread safe, it's because it can be used within multiple threads concurrently without causing any problems. All right, that's everything I want to talk about in this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. If not, I will see you in the next one.